So good morning, everyone, and welcome to FuseNet Haiti Food Security Outlook Briefing covering the June 2024 to January 2025 period. My name is Marius Rotulu Zanahari, and uh, I am a food security analyst at FuseNet. The key messages. In Haiti, crisis IPC phase three outcome will likely remain widespread throughout the outlook period. Furthermore, city Soleil is expected to remain in emergency IPC phase four as gang violence continues to severely restrict access to livelihood activities and limit market functionality. Although some parts of Haiti are expected to improve to stressed IPC phase two, with the fall harvest and seasonal increases in income towards the end of the year, the population in need is not anticipated to fluctuate significantly. Delayed and erratic rainfall coupled with the impact of conflict and insecurity on physical and financial access to agricultural input and arable land resulted in below average spring harvest. This is the high tea main agricultural season. A below average fall harvest is also expected due to this factor as erratic rainfall distribution and above average temperature are expected to offset the benefit associated with the forecasted above average cumulative rainfall during the second rainy season. In early 2024, humanitarian food assistance reached less than 4% of the total population and 12% of FUSENET estimated population in need. Low food assistance coverage is exacerbated by humanitarian access, constraint relative to insecurity in gang controlled areas. The population in need includes poor households in rural and urban areas and internally displaced persons. The areas of highest concern are city soleil, de Bouquet and the West Department in, in the West Department and Bedouin and Pobarto Police in the Northwest Department. The current situation, the seasonal calendar. Looking towards the middle of the calendar on the screen, our first analysis period runs from June to September and coincide with the end of the first rainy season, the end of the lean season, the beginning of the spring harvest and the beginning of the fall season in July. It is important to point out that the spring harvest is the main harvest in Haiti. The October to January period is the second analysis period and include the fall and the winter harvest. Insecurity continues to affect the country, particularly the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area and the West Department. According to ACLED data, during the first quarter of 2024, the number of violent events increased by 44% compared to the same period in 2023. Beginning March, in terms of severity, following the escalation of gang violence in the capital in March, the number of violent events in April to June decreased 50% compared to the number from January to March 2024. The map on the left shows the spread of gang violence across the country, but concentrated in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, indicated by the red color. The map on the right zooms into the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area and shows the municipality of Port-au-Prince and Delmas as the epicenter of the violence. The yellow color in this municipality represent the highest, the high density of violent events and illustrates high gang activities. Overall, more than 88% of gang violence is concentrated in the commune of Port-au-Prince. Despite the slight decrease in the number of violent events from April to June, the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area remains significantly impacted. The insecurity in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area is driving population displacement. In June, in the June report, which covers the March to May period, the IOM reported that over 578 
people, 78,000 people have been displaced, which is an increase of 60% compared to the period of December 2023 to January to February 2024, reported in March. The increase is due to deterioration of the security in the metropolitan Port-au-Prince area. Provinces outside of Port-au-Prince are 68% of these internally displaced persons, and the remaining 32% are in the port of France. If you look at the district of origin of our IDPs, 78% of IDPs in the provinces are from the port of France metropolitan area. The map on the left shows the distribution of IDPs per department, where dark blue indicates a large number of IDPs. The grades of and the West Department hosted the largest number of IDPs. The small circles illustrate the district of origin of IDPs, where red indicates IDPs are from the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area. The map shows most of IDPs are from Port-au-Prince, except in Artibonite and the Northwest, where 50% of IDPs in Artibonite and 47% in the Northwest originated from this department and the remaining from the capital. All IDPs in our department are mainly people who fled our Port-au-Prince. Who was this IDPs? As people flee their own, 97% of IDPs in the provinces are hosted by families, while Port-au-Prince, while in Port-au-Prince, 61% are hosted in sites such as schools, and churches. If you look at the um, agricultural production, access to agricultural inputs is challenging for small farmers due to the impact of insecurity on market supply and the high agricultural input prices. The graph on the left shows the price of two fertilizers used in Haiti. For poor small farmers, the cost of the sack of 50 kilogram of fertilizer is high. On average, in June 2024, it cost 8,724 for the fertilizer 2020 and 9,300 gold for urea. And the prices are much higher than two years ago. In June 2024, the price of fertilizer 2020 rose by 39% and the urea a 33% compared to June 2022. Given the poor household's low purchasing capacity and high price uh, fertilizer prices, many poor small farmers can't afford to buy fertilizer. Furthermore, despite the above average rainfall observed during the second half of the spring season, the erratic rainfall and the late start of the season have affected crop development. The map on the right shows the vegetation health in late May, early June, near the end of the growing season. Rainfall deficit persisted in localized areas of Northwest and Artibonite, where vegetation conditions remain poor, as shown by Broncolo, but the vegetation health improved in the Grand South and the West Department. As of August, the spring harvest is complete and production is estimated to be below average due to a combination of agroclimatic conditions, high agricultural input prices, and the impact of insecurity on access to farmland. Poor macroeconomic conditions are among the drivers of acute food insecurity in Haiti. Haiti experienced five consecutive years of economic contraction from 2019 to 2023. The annual inflation rate remains significantly high. Since February, the national average headline inflation rate rose from 23% to 28% in May. The graph on the left shows the trend of inflation rate. The inflation rate extremely high at the beginning of 2023 decreased until December 2023, January 2024. Then it shows an upward trend um, since February. The graph also illustrates that high food inflation is increasingly driving high inflation since late 
2023. However, the exchange rate has generally stabilized in the past six months. As of July 2024, one US dollar stabilized at 131. The graph on the right shows the fluctuation of exchange rate. Following the gold depreciation in early 2023, it gained 19% of its value from May to December 2023, illustrated by the green arrow. A few policy measures taken by the government explain the slight appreciation of the gold, including the removal of short subsidies and the payment of remittances in local currency instead of in US dollar. Since January 2024, the exchange rate has stabilized illustrated by the brown arrow, but its, its value remains below, below the five-year uh, average. The escalation of gang violence has severely affected the importation of goods by disrupting the, the operation of the ports in Port-au-Prince. Some boats are forced to redirect to Capetian ports. Despite the resumption of port operations since April, the insecurity to Due to gang violence in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, continues to impact market. The two major markets, Croix de Bossal and Croix de Bouquet markets, continue to be disrupted, resulting in significant decrease in activity in these markets in favor of smaller markets in downtown of Port-au-Prince, which contributes to supplying the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area. As a result, Fusnet estimates that the Croix de Bossal market lost 60 to 70 percent of its normal capacity due to decreased market supply, trader activities, and low consumer traffic. Gangs still imposed fees on national roads from the capital to the north, south, and center, disrupting market supply. The limited supply due to insecurity in the national roads impacted the functioning of the Gonaï market. The map on the left shows the supply route and market activities. Yellow indicates some disruption and reduced activity, while red brown indicates a significant disruption and limited activity, and dark brown minimal um, or no activity. The minimum calorie diet comprises rice, beans, maize, wheat flour, and wheat vegetable oil. On average, rice account for more than 42% of the cost of the diet for poor salt, followed by wheat flour, 18%. Due to high food prices, the cost of minimum calorie diet has more than doubled from 7,000 quart in 2022 to 18,000 quart in 2024. The graph on the left shows the upward trend of the cost of the minimum calorie diet from 2020 until June 2024. A graph on the red shows the fluctuation in basic food prices, such as black beans, imported rice, maize, vegetable, oil, and wheat flour. The average prices of maize and wheat flour in the first half of 2024, from January to June, declined by 8, 12 and 16 percent, respectively compared to the first half of 2023, while the prices of imported rice rose by 9%. Since April, staple food prices have remained relatively stable. Despite these fluctuations, local and imported food prices remain above the five-year average. High food prices limit household access to food as they depend on market for their source of food. For the source of income, in May 2024, Fusnet conducted an assessment of, of on-farm income, which refers to all cash or in-kind incomes generated outside one's farm. The assessment surveys 111 key informants who speak to circumstances of poor household in their areas. Therefore, the survey findings are indicative, not representative. The survey results show the three main sources of income for poor households in rural areas, pre-harvest labor, harvest labor, and petty trade. In May 
50% or more than 50% of key informants say that the avail availability of labor opportunities from these three sources is below average compared to a typical year. The income generated is also below average, despite the slightly above average wages in agricultural labor. Therefore, given declining incomes due to decreased opportunity, in combination with high staple food prices, we also face low purchasing capacity. Monitoring food assistance due to gang violence, high staple food prices, and low purchasing capacity, poor assault and displaced people face difficulties in accessing food. The number of people in need of food assistance is high, representing 15 to 20 percent of the population. However, the number of people actually receiving emergency food assistance is low, at only 12 percent of Fusenet estimated. 2.5 million people in need and only 2.5 percent of the total population. In May, for example, the monitoring food assistance covered only 5 percent of the population of the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, even though 45 percent of all food aid beneficiaries countrywide of the month are from Port-au-Prince. On average, 292 and people receive food assistance from January to May. The graph on the right shows the monthly number of food assistance beneficiaries from January to May. The increase in food assistance coincides with the worsening insecurity in March, which led to the increase in IDPs. A few key assumptions for the projected um, outcomes. Above average and erratic rainfall is expected from June 2024 to January 2025, with high temperature but reduced soil moisture during the initial phenological stage of crop development. Slow development of Kenyan led international pacekeeping force maintains the status quo of the insecurity until September. with high level of gang violence and generally insecurity expected to persist. Spring and fall 2024 harvests are expected to be below average due to erratic rainfall and high temperature, reducing soil moisture exacerbated by insecurity, limiting access to farmland. Market supply in urban areas, particularly the Croix de Bossal market, will likely remain disrupted by insecurity in Port-au-Prince and the main roads, which continue to restrict the movement of goods between the country's major cities. Elevated inflation rates, including food inflation rates, are likely to persist over the outlook period due to insecurity, trade disruptions, and poor macroeconomic uh, conditions. Staple food prices, including wheat flour, imported rice, and edible oil, will be higher than the average for the last two years, 2022-2023, despite the slight appreciation of the good. The graph on the right shows the price projection of imported rice in Croix de Bossal market during the outlook period. It is forecasted to be above the two average, two year uh, average. Most of sold incomes will be below um, the five year average, including agricultural labor, PT trade and the migration labor due to the impact of insecurity. The projected acute food insecurity and outcomes. The circles on the map highlight the area of concern, City Solai in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, Pas de Bouquet in the West Department and the municipalities of BDN and Bombardopolis in the Northwest. Throughout the projection period, crisis IPC phase three outcomes are expected in Port-au-Prince and Carrefour in Port-au-Prince metropolitan area due to insecurity disrupting livelihood and market supply. However, from October to January 2025, the deployment of a significant number of international force is anticipated to improve insecurity and income generating activity. 
This will gradually decrease the number of household increases APC phase three, although it will not be sufficient to change the area classification. City solar remain plagued by gain balance. Therefore, for the outlook period, emergency APC phase four outcomes are expected in city solar and pocket of very poor household in areas controlled by gang, including Badelmas, Carrefour, and Quadebuque. In the Northwest, the light sowing activity at the beginning of the spring season will result in below average spring and fall harvest. Short term, local availability will improve household food consumption, but the quantity harvested will not be sufficient to fill the production and income deficit of the spring season. Crisis APC phase three outcome are expected to persist in the area for the outlook period. Pocket of very poor also in Bedouin and Bombardopolis will be in emergency phase four. In the southern region, crisis APC phase three outcomes are expected to persist throughout the outlook period, despite the slight improvement expected in July during the spring harvest. The high inflation rates and the influx of ITPs. IDPs fleeing the violence in Port-au-Prince will continue to impact the region. Most of these IDPs are hosted by families already affected by high food prices and declining incomes. For the rest of the country, the income from labor and the sale of a seasonal agricultural product will remain below average due to economic, sociopolitical, and security shocks, resulting in low purchasing power. A widespread Crisis IPC phase three is expected for the outlook period. However, from October to January 2025, due to seasonal improvement in food availability during fall harvest, some households will become able to fill their consumption needs, but not their food, their non-food needs. They will they will face stressed IPC phase two outcome. So that's the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I am happy to answer any questions.